Hey, my name's Hawken, and I'm a relatively new birder. And in this episode, I head to Salt Lake City's Tracy Aviary to see a bunch of birds never seen before on this channel. At the same time, I'm still trying to complete my Birds of Utah challenge to see every single bird in this field guide, mainly trying to locate the Calliope Hummingbird. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited. It is Saturday. Don't have to work during the day, which means I can spend the time and go to the Tracy Aviary. We're gonna be exploring some of the birds they have here, but also looking for some wild birds, which is kind of not what you expect when you come to an aviary, but there's no net or anything over the top, so wild birds can come into the aviary. I'm really hoping that the Calliope hummingbird hung around. So obviously with this being an aviary, there's gonna be all sorts of species from around the world that you don't usually see in the channel. I'm gonna call out some of those really cool species as I see them. I probably won't film everything, but of course we are hoping we will see a lot of the birds you're used to seeing on the channel, as well as a few new ones that are native to Utah, flying in and around this beautiful vegetation and area and grounds that the aviary has set up. The Tracy Aviary is one of only two freestanding aviaries in the nation. It's located in Liberty Park, pretty close to downtown Salt Lake, and has eight acres of grounds to explore. Let's get right into the rainforest. It was pretty sweet seeing some birds that I have no chance of seeing in North America unless they're way out of range. But we transitioned to some birds we could find in North America at the Owl Forest. You don't belong here. This is the Owl Forest. Then we moved to the Kennecott Wetlands Experience, which has a ton of birds that you can find in Utah. In fact, a lot of the common species that you'll see too, along with a few others mixed in. So even though we see these birds all over Utah, it's crazy how you can get so close. Like you can see there's black neck stilts literally right in front of us. I'm able to get some of the best pictures I've ever gotten because they're just so used to people. Even though these are Utah birds, I'm obviously not counting them towards my life list. There are a few birds I haven't seen out in the wild here, which is kind of just like teasing me. There's a bufflehead sleeping back there. There's some marbled teal, both birds I've never seen before. So cool to be able to just get so close and get some amazing photos of them. After seeing some great birds, we were moving on to the South America Pavilion. This is the area I was most excited to be at because this is where, according to another checklist submitted to eBird, a Calliope hummingbird was seen just four days earlier. I was really hoping it was still around. I'd only seen chickadees outside of the aviary birds to this point. Did grab a song sparrow on the fence, which is pretty cool, and I got a sweet picture of it too. And then we saw hummingbirds. While I was incredibly pumped to see hummingbirds and get a chance at the calliope, this immediately introduced a problem for me. So, 
Salt Lake has about four main species of hummingbirds that we get in the area. There definitely are more that could come around, but these are the common ones. I was stuck with an identification issue. Now you might be thinking, Hawken, these are all incredibly different birds with very distinctive features. You should be able to tell them apart. While well, you're right, these are the fully grown males. The species I was seeing around the South America Pavilion were all female or immature birds, which look incredibly similar. Now I'm going to make things a little easier and eliminate the rufous and broad-tailed hummingbirds. I'm fairly confident that throughout the day of all the species I saw, none of them were these species, largely because the broad-tailed has a much larger tail than anything that I saw, and the rufous is generally more orange and rufous colored. Now let's note some few key differences between the black chin and calliope hummingbirds. The calliope hummingbird is the smallest bird in North America, so naturally it's going to be slightly smaller than the black chinned in most cases. Not always, but in most cases. Secondly, I want you to pay attention to the bill. On both the immature and the female, the black chinned hummingbird has a much longer bill than the calliope. You can also sometimes use the tail to tell a calliope apart. It's usually slightly shorter and when perched, the wingtips will extend past the tail a lot of times. So that's what I was looking for as I was going through all these hummingbirds. I still don't claim to be an expert though and I would appreciate your help in the comments as I make my calls in this next part. But let's look at some hummingbirds. The first hummingbird caught me off guard and I didn't have my shutter speed dialed in so these photos are a little bit blurry because they move so fast. I think this first one's a black chinned. I got my settings dialed in right and spent a lot of time around the area watching all these birds zip around. As they paused to feed, I would snap pictures. This one I'm pretty confident is a black chinned hummingbird. Longer bill, got some black on its chin. This next one perched up in a tree though, I'm a little unclear. The bill looks a little shorter. This could be a calliope though, I'm not 100% sure. I kept searching and waiting though. We had a few other species fly around. Again, a smaller bill and a very small looking bird. Very high potential for a calliope. This one however, as I got some video of it, I'm pretty confident is a black chinned. That bill is a little bit longer, its tail looks long too, and it's just a bigger, slender bird overall, so I think this one's a black chinned. I hope you can now appreciate the predicament I was faced with with this identification challenge. These species were very hard to tell apart. Now this one right here, I do think has another high chance of being a calliope hummingbird. As I zoom into this picture here, it almost looks like it has the start of the gorget that the males develop too. And we had another species which wings almost went past the tail, though I'm not sure with this one. But the next one I saw, I am really confident this is our calliope. A short, small bill, a small bird overall. Its wings and tails are about the same length. This is our calliope, I'm pretty positive, and I'm counting it for the challenge. I'm so excited to get this one off the list. If you disagree with me, let me know. Regardless, I had a lot of fun watching these hummingbirds, and even if I misidentified that calliope hummingbird, that's okay. It happens. It's my first year of birding, and I'm really here to have fun. And this black chin hummingbird you're looking at here was defending its territory like no other. It was also really cool too, because if you look closely enough, as it turns, its throat has some of the purple coming in. Really awesome. Let's stop worrying about identification for a second and just enjoy some beautiful hummingbirds. While it was hard to beat the rush of seeing the Calliope Hummingbird finally, Alicia and I continued along the aviary and saw even more cool birds. Right here, this is one of the show stars, Chewy the Black Vulture. He was so fun to watch hop around and he was trying to get every single treat he could from his caretaker. It was really fun to watch him and listen to all the cool facts that the caretaker had about Chewy and black vultures in general. Definitely look out for him and other show stars 
as you attend the Tracy Aviary yourself. Other people do, but it's not always taken very well. <laughs> The aviary is honestly so cool. I was having the time of my life filming these birds, doing all sorts of activities, and dreaming of getting these birds onto my life list someday. I saw some species that I really want to see in the wild, such as these laughing kookaburra. I can just dream of the day that I can get to Australia to go and see these species. As I've shown a lot of bird species in this video from all over the world, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What was your favorite species you saw in this video? Have you seen any of these before in the wild? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Ducks, ducks from the aviary. <laughs> Wow, I absolutely love the aviary. We got the Calliope hummingbird today, saw a bunch of other cool bird species. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this video. If you're interested, I'll put the link for the aviary in the description. You should definitely go and check it out yourself. It's a beautiful place. They do a lot of great conservation work. And they're just an awesome organization right here in Salt Lake. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you in the next video.